Hi Taurus, welcome to my channel. We're doing your reading today. Let's see what you guys have for me. Okay. So first card is the strongest here and what we have is a ten of wands. Now this card indicates a lot of struggle, a lot of burden, but it's also about to be over. So that's a ten of wands. Now this is a, a card of taking responsibility for a lot of things. When I say a lot of things, like you do too much. Like you will work hard, you will say yes to this, you will say yes to that. And you keep doing it to yourself. Now, in relationship, this is uh, this is not a people pleaser. This is more of you feel like since nobody's gonna do it, I might as well do it. Um, so it's not like you're trying to do it to make the other person happy. You're coming more of from that earth sign where since they're not responsible, I have to be the responsible one in this relationship. Now, this is tiring. This is exhausting. Then that's why you see this person right here. It can't even breathe. It can't. It can't do anything. Like you, you lack the time for yourself here. Mm -hmm. um, and it's a struggle. Like every day is a burden. Every day is a struggle for you just to get up, just to wake up. It's gonna become like a, like man, another day, and then oh, another day. So this adds up and adds up. So this is not um, just today that this happened. So this has been going on for the past months in this relationship, years for others, and you are what we call in a breaking point. Now, the ones is a very passionate card, which means you do do it with like, uh, you feel that oh, I have energy today, and then you wake up full of energy, and then you end up by the end of the day exhausted. So very passionate morning, and then at the end of the day, you just, you know, like you're just going to crash in your bed, and then, oh, I can't, like you're going to catch your breath over here, and then basically you feel that you didn't do anything for yourself. Now this comes with the Ace of Wands, Two of Wands, meaning like you were patient with your person, you were optimistic with the Three of Wands. You have the part where the four of ones, you're making the relationship secure. Regardless, five of ones that there was argument, you tried to understand them. Six of ones, there was good connection. And in seven of ones, you did tell your person, this is, you know, there's part of me that I cannot do it. But eight of ones, they talk to you and then you, you message them back and then, okay, fine, let's move on from this. Nine of ones, you feel hurt, you know, but you still feel that dedication. And then there you go. Ten of ones the burden okay so after that from what i'm seeing here is you now feel the need to isolate yourself which is the hermit card so here in the hermit this is virgo so you may be focusing on health you may be focusing on your work you may be focusing on paying your loans and your debts you may be just trying to pray and understand what's going on, you know, in this relationship because you feel like it's one-sided. So this is not a card of no contact. I do believe that if your person reach out, you'll be still be there for them. But the hermit comes where it's seeking answer, it's seeking solution, it's trying to solve this, uh, you know, one-sided relationship. Now, after this, you have your death card, which is the card of transformation and changes. The death card shows that you want things to change. There is hope. There's this rose over here and it's showing that I want this to work out. So you want changes in this relationship, but it requires something to end. So in every ending, there is a beginning. So now you're telling your person, I feel like we have to end the part where it's just me. And then you have to basically put in some time, put in some effort in order for us to have this new beginning. So you're running out of choice with a hermit because it, you feel like, okay, if this doesn't work, we're probably going to break up and separate because that's a death. But I don't sense that you guys are trying to separate because you have here the Two of Cups, which is a card of love, soulmate. You guys have a good connection. Um, you guys enjoy the same thing. There is 
a lot of, uh, um, how to say this, chemistry involved, emotional attachment here. You see, it can be a Cancer, Scorpio, or Virgo over here. And it also, I feel that you have this feeling at home with your person. You do feel safe, you do feel secure. I mean, like, you know, you're in love with the Two of Cups. Mm -hmm. So this is a good card. This is showing that the two of you will agree to disagree, okay? So this is a good solution because they're coming off from love. It's reciprocated. It's not one-sided. So let's see what happens next. With regards to love, it's not one-sided. But the energy of the relationship, I feel like it is one-sided. Okay. Okay, so after that discussion over here, this is good. You see this, you have the Ten of Cups. Ten of Cups from the burden that you have with your person. I'll move this, guys. From the burden that you have with your person, things change. So right away, it changed. The relationship becomes better. There is peace. There is harmony. You guys are not fighting. You guys are not arguing here with the Ten of Cups. The Ten of Cups is, okay, Two of Cups and a Ten coming in together. Like, okay, um, again, mutual feelings. There is respect. Um, the person understand uh, where you're coming from and why you're exhausted in this relationship. So it's good. Now, the Ten of Cups is a dream. So you work hard for this relationship and you're reaching the point of success, which is, a, you know, like normally this is a rainbow coming together, moving in. Like the two of you are so different. This is a cat and a dog, but you still find the balance. And relationship is basically like, you know, giving, receiving, and then now there is balance here. Good. King of Coins, you're able to focus on your work. Things become better. You got promoted. Success is in the cards here with the King of Coins, which means like it's stable now. It's good. You can have the same, um, same gender, whatever you prefer, because there's two kings over here. With the king of coins over here, this is a part of you are mastering yourself here. Um, you, you also have big changes in your livelihood, because the hermit and the king of coins, um, you are a self-made person. So king of coins is, you know, like you're making money, you're making money work for you, you're more stable, you're optimistic, you know. Ever since that you are with your person, you know, life has changed. Okay, so that's good. So your, the work that you're putting also here with the Ten of Wands, you're seeing now the fruits. Okay. Um, King of Swords with the Death card. Um, as much as pas passionate you are, I feel like your person's characteristic is totally different from you. They may feel, um, you know, or you may feel like they're detached with the King of Swords. You may not feel the warmth, and that's something that you're looking for with the Queen of Wands affection you know it's like the, it could be king of swords with the queen of wands over here you're looking at like is this person still attracted to me we do have love but then the queen of wands is like something about passion um intimacy with the uh, queen of wands um the queen of wands i feel like it's a desire so now you want more since your guys are established you want the connection to become more deeper mm -hmm. okay yeah so you're looking for the chemistry. All right. Um, again, I feel like five of coins, we're back in the same page again here. Um, and I told you like they have become detached or cold. That's the king of swords. Um, so the progress was, it, did, it wasn't long. It, the change, yes, it was there. But then when you look at the uh, the five of coins over here, missing again. So you're asking your person over here, what happened to the part that we have this good connection? Your person becomes MIA and it's a struggle for your strength card to balance work and your romantic connection. Because they haven't been putting again the same energy and effort as you do. Strength card is here. So now, um, your person needs time. They ask for two of swords over here. They're trying to make a decision about this relationship. For the strength card with the king of coins, you're not giving up. Meaning, for you, like, let's make it work. And, you know, I'm here for you with the strength card. Um, we can move this forward with the uh, chariot. Because the chariot is about, um, you know, understanding the good and the bad. And then, you know, like the two of you will, again, just move past through this. But your person is different this time. They went silent, two of swords with the five coins. You know, can be an Aquarian, can be a Leo. And you're struggling right now to bring in this communication. You feel like they're becoming distant with the chariot. And you're here, I feel. Like you're waiting for progress between the two of you. Okay, so let's do our grand reveal over here. Let's answer some questions. 
So think of a question and I will answer it for you. Okay, so what is the future of this uh, relationship? Let's see. Uh, let's go first for the five of coins for people who are in no contact. Okay, this is this one. Okay, so let's see if there will be communication. Will the two of you be together with a chariot? Because that is moving forward in this relationship. Strength card, should you continue to pursue this or fight for this relationship? You know, because you do have the energy here. Now, if there is a Queen of Wands, is there someone else in the picture? Is that the reason why all of a sudden your person change, you know, their energy? Okay. Why they went silent here with the Two of Swords? What are they thinking right now? With the Ten of Cups, is this person the one? So, you're now going to contemplate if this is going to be the future, future, the only one. And, you know, it's like the two of you will come together and live happily ever after, basically. Will there be a good change in this relationship if you try to communicate or reach out? That's a death card. So, let's see. Okay, oh, and the Two of Cups, of course. With your soulmate, what is the future okay, between the two of you? Okay. So this is the grand reveal, okay? I'm going to continue this reading. Link in the description box below. Thank you very much, Taurus, for watching. I'll see you guys again.